Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward. It is a 172nd scale release and it is a profit pack edition kit. So as you can see it copies MiG 15Bs. I guess it's not necessary to introduce this plastic, this model to you because it's a quite well known kit from Czech manufacturer and it is molded in small scale. I'm not sure why we still not having the 148 scale kit and Edward is quite against it but we have a rare issue of this kit um, with different camouflages. It's a profit pack, it's a commercial sample and we are going to check it today. So first of all as you can see we have quite nice box art here and box size is typical for 172nd scale kits from Edward. Here you can see comparison. Then on the side we have four or five marking options which are included here. So here you can see them all. And on the other side we have some information about the kit but there is nothing um, interesting or important in my opinion. So we can start with opening the box. It's a top opening box. And here is what we have inside. So there are um, should be several plastic bags. Here you can see that there are two of them. We have three gray plastic sprues and one clear and we are going to check them one by one and see what this kit has to offer. By the way, if you didn't see the previous video reviews with MiG-15 kit, I recommend also to check the accessories because there is a quite huge um, line or series of the um, original accessories from Edward, Brosin accessories, PE accessories, which will be handy with this small kit. So let's zoom in. Here you can see first gray plastic sprue and first of all here we have the lower fuselage sections. Also here we have the cockpit panels, air intake parts, landing gear doors, landing gear wheels. Here we have various pylons and landing gear legs and if we flip it over here you can see also that all, some parts are molded just as one piece elements which should make it really easy to assemble and install into the place. Here you can see landing gear wheels. You can replace those with original brassine accessories and I would recommend to do so because it will be a noticeable change and of course your model will benefit from such upgrade. Okay, next we have another grey plastic sprue. This one features slightly bigger parts because these are wing halves. As you can see, each side of the wing should be glued out of two halves. We have typical external detailing, so it means recess panel lines and riveting. Uh, flaps and ailerons are pre-molded, so you won't be able to move them here. And as far as I remember, for flaps you have to get the PE set in order to retract them on your model. And on 172nd scale it might be a bit tedious work to um, bend all those PE parts, so be ready for this. And here inside we have also some minor detailing for the wheel wells. We can zoom in, here you can see it in detail. Note that the attachment points are more or less fine, in some places they are a bit wide and maybe you will have to use the plastic saw, but otherwise it looks completely okay for out of the box build. Next we have another plastic bag, here it is, just give me a sec, I need to understand how to open it. So here we have one clear and one grey plastic sprue and I'm going to show them in a second. So first we finish with grey plastic sprues, here is the last one, the third one, so as you can see we have two fuselage halves which are molded together with tail section and as you remember the nose area of the air intake is molded separately so you won't have ugly seams and gaps in this area. Then here we have some parts for fuel tanks, for engine nozzle and also for the bomb pylons. Here you can also see that we have recess panel lines and riveting. I can zoom in so that you can see it better. Here is one of the fuselage house. And if you flip it over inside you won't find any cockpit detailing because as you remember cockpit is assembled separately and then it will be inserted inside. So keep it in mind. And cockpit can be upgraded with original Edward P parts. It should be bought separately but it will be nice. Here we have profit pack so I guess our um, included 
PE should be enough for out of the box build because it's a 170 second scale, let's not forget about it so it will be completely fine here we have another plastic bag this is a ziplock bag and it is dedicated to clear parts obviously if I'm not wrong that was no actually Spitfire was first where they started to use the circular sprue and this was the second one so here we have canopy parts of course you will be able to copy the open cockpit on your model we also have the target side here and molding quality looks completely fine this is a profi pack so it means we get masks out of the box so there is nothing to worry about just install those parts mask them and then everything will be fine okay next we have those two typical profit pack bonuses so first one is a mask sheet as you can see masks are pre-cut and I can guess that they are designed not only for the canopy but also for some marking elements maybe camera will focus on this mask sheet and you will see it closer but it does not want to focus so we will see it in assembly manual there will be masks application guide here we have also small cardboard with pre-painted PE thread so I'm going to remove it and here you can see these small cockpit parts which will be handy for fine detailing of the model I'm sure that cockpit will benefit from such parts and you should be ready to install them into the place because some of them are really tiny and might be tricky to get into the right spot next we have this plastic bag so these are decals we have two decals sheets even though this is a 170 second scale kit but there are five marking options to copy so that's why we have two decal sheets and I can guess that they are printed in Edward so just give me a second first we have the bigger one which is dedicated to all main symbols we also have here decals for the instrument panel in case you don't want to use P parts and of course for all those um, marking signs and etc etc note that those stars can be replicated with masks so it will be up to you what you choose to copy but that's really cool that Edward decided to um, give us the choice between those two options of star actually arrow application on the model. Here we have also another decal sheet. This one is dedicated to stencils which are given in two colors, black and red. So one of them will stay in your spare parts. Okay. And next we have the assembly manual. This one is printed in form of tiny actually not tiny but small brochure. We have short history note on the first page, English and Czech then here inside we have parts map and note that some parts won't be used they can go straight to your spare parts box assembly process starts with cockpit and straight away you will have to use PE parts here we work on the pilot seat then you assemble cockpit together and install it into the aircraft don't forget about the weight because otherwise you will get a tail sitter and just give me a second I'll try to reduce the brightness so that it won't be that bright white here we continue with war wings so you have to glue two halves together then we install wings into the place it should be relatively easy because we have special tabs which help you with alignment here we continue with front cannon also with frontal section of the air intake note that it will depend the parts choice will depend on the marking choice so be careful and choose the right option here we continue with landing gear wheels then you install all this stuff onto the model here you can see our wheels and also the canopy next we have masks application guide so here you can see that we have masks for the canopy and also for all clear elements on the aircraft so as you remember um, it was somewhere here just give me a second here so as you remember those parts are also clear so that's why we have masks for them here you assemble few tanks under wing and then we go on with marking options so the first one is uh, from May 1953 then we go on with August 1957 and here this arrow can be replicated with masks next we continue with 
that's a Hungary 1972 next we go on with Egypt late 50s early 1960s and one more comes from Soviet Union mid 1950s and here we have also stencils guide one more because it will be different from version to version and here is another one so be sure to choose the right one and why I'm a bit confused because I was actually doing the translation for this marking option so here you can see my text in case you are interested when you get this kit you know that it was done by me nevertheless this kit should be already available for purchase on official Edward website with all accessories which I mentioned in this video review of course I would be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe because this way you will be getting all the fresh video reviews on time and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today bye